Hey guys, Robert Strong here, and I'm gonna teach you the secret on how to do a really good refuge feed chatter. Now, if you don't know what a refuge feed chatter is, a refuge feed chatter is a sound that gives the illusion of multiple callers calling at once, or multiple ducks on the water, all calling at the same time. It has a base layer of rolling feed chatter with ducks in the background calling back and forth across a refuge. Um, this was a sound that was made famous in the early 2000s by the refuge man himself, Keith Allen. Um, hence the nickname Refuge Feed Chatter. Now, just for a reference, so you know what it sounds like, you know what we're talking about, it sounds like this. Um, you may have been told on how to do a Refuge Feed Chatter in the past was to do a bouncing hen mixed into a rolling feed chatter. Now, a bouncing hen is gonna sound something like this. word hutta 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 well if you've ever tried to do a refuge feed chatter with a bouncing hand and, and mixing it into a rolling feed chatter it's difficult to do it's difficult to get it to transition properly to get it to sound and flow well and give that illusion of multiple ducks calling and that feed chatter never stopping um, so here's the secret to doing a good refuge feed chatter now this is a secret i've kept to myself for a long time I've used it to win a lot of meat calling contests, even some Main Street duck calling contests. Um, I've taught a handful of people over the years, but I'm gonna teach you guys all today how to do it. Um, so the reference word that we're gonna use instead of a regular bouncing hen is going to be a backwards bouncing hen. Now what I mean by backwards bouncing hen is not gonna be hutta, hutta, hutta. It's gonna be taka, taka, taka. Now, um, by itself, you know, it sounds weird. It doesn't sound good, you know. Doesn't really sound like a real duck. A real duck's not gonna make that sound. But when you mix it in with a rolling feed chatter, it's gonna sound something like this. That surnote kind of disappears. It kind of gets blended into the feed chatter. And all you really hear is that cadence of that duck. And that's how we give that illusion of multiple ducks in the water uh, doing the rolling feed chatter and the ducks um, calling in the background and that feed chatter never stops. Um, the secret to getting it to flow is how you lengthen that second part of the note, the ka part of the taka. So as you're coming into it, you're gonna start with that second note very short. And as you come up the cadence, you're gonna lengthen that second note out. And then as you come back down the cane, so you're gonna shorten that second note up. So it's gonna imagine you're coming up a hill. Okay, that's how it's gonna flow. Now you can mix it up with single cuts, double cuts, drag quacks. Um, you can change the pitch, you can change the cadence, you can change, you can make it a squealy hen um, to really get it to sound like a whole refuge full of ducks in the water. Uh, and really get it to sound uh, natural and it's, a, it's just a really fun sound to learn. So here's what it sounds like if you mix it up, put it all together. And that is a secret to doing a really good refuge feed chatter.